Hey guys, how's it going? So, it's finally here. Winter Classic 2024 is on Saturday. It's Thursday right now. I'm on the road to West Fargo right now. Um, gonna get there. It's about a three hour drive. Get there, run some errands. Um, gonna get some snacks for tomorrow after weigh-in, after the refeed, so I have a little bit of self-control, so like I don't fast sweat tonight, which is the plan. Um, make weight and then go to Walmart and become the proud owner of aisle 3 and 17. So <clears throat> today is just get down to make weight tomorrow morning. I got to get down to 220. Um, this week I did a water load. So like on Sunday I drank a gallon, Monday I drank two gallons, and then Tuesday and yesterday I drank three gallons. The goal was to get to four, but like I just, I got like three and a half, but like I just didn't feel like I needed to get that fourth gallon in. Uh, this morning I'm down to 224. When I started the water load, I was at 230, 231, and just, I've peed out seven pounds of just water in my body. So, gonna get to Fargo, get set up for tomorrow, and we're gonna use the sun at the hotel and sweat the last three pounds out. Um, I got just a little bit of a little bit of water sip on so I like I don't like die but yeah we'll hit the road here if I have any other thoughts I'll kind of hop on here record it um, this whole contest video it's probably gonna be in three parts like pre-contest day of the contest and then kind of Results, final thoughts, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys, just getting into the hotel room here. Uh, stopped at the store, got some stuff for tomorrow. These, the peanut butter and honey, that's for Saturday. So I have something to eat at the contest that's high in protein, fat, all that energy stuff. Um Got some Pedialyte, some Prime, some coconut water, some Gatorade Fit. Haven't had those ever, but it says hydration. And that's what I'm going to need. Some Mountain Dew, some caffeine and sugar, and some high-carb snacks just to kind of get me through. This isn't going to be everything that I have for the refeed, but it's just so I have something right away. And um, there's going to be more stuff after, like donuts and pizza and pasta. Oh, my. So kind of excited for that. Um, going to get settled in here. Got a couple more errands to run. And then we're going to go. Actually, now I think we're gonna, I'm going to run down and check out the sauna. Make sure that's working. So I, if it's not, then I can get some stuff figured out. And we're going to start getting ready for the morning. The, uh, I'm not nervous, but like, I'm not nervous or anxious, but like, I'm not, you know, like in school where you like had a math test and like you knew you studied for it and you knew you were ready, but like there's something itching at the back of your brain that's like, maybe you're not ready. Maybe you're going to fail. And like, yeah, that's just kind of going, I'm. I'm tired. I'm sore, beat up. So I forgot my mic upstairs, but um, that's not something you want to see. That's kind of a bummer. Now I gotta figure something out here. Oh, yeah. But their pool has, has water slides. <gasps> we might see what we can do about that. Yeah. All right. So again, forgot my mic up in the room. Son is out of order. Front desk was busy, so I don't want to bug them. They do, however, have a fitness room. So, 
I didn't really bring a lot of extra like sweats and stuff, but like we'll we'll make this work. Just come down here and so I'm looking around the room, not really showing you guys. Um, but yeah, no, there's there's stuff in here to get a sweat on. So there's me. Anyway, but yeah, that's it's not really ideal, I guess, but like. I'll see if I can catch them at the desk again. If not, we'll make this work. I wanted to just kind of sit in the sun and try not to die because this is this last sweat. I did a practice one of this a few weeks back, and this is this is this is not this isn't going to be fun. But we'll make it happen. But yeah. Anyway, yeah. More off to more errands. All right. So doing all our errands here uh, i drove by the gym where the weigh-ins are going to be um just so i kind of have a better idea where that's going to end up at at some point here tomorrow morning oh, fuck, i'm so tired anyway one of the errands so my favorite barber shop is here in fargo so gonna see what we can do, I might ask them to leave me a little tassel here so I have something to clip the beer to. I keep looking over here. That's where the receiver is for the mic that plugs into my phone. So I keep looking at that. It's a green flashy light. It's catching my attention. So, yeah, we're going to go in. Get cleaned up here looking nice and pretty. Uh, phone's about to die, so I probably won't. I'm not even going to try and get video in there. But, yeah, we'll get in here, get cleaned up. So, the fort wasn't working, the hair dryer idea was not working, so we're down here. Gonna put in some time on this horrible machine. Um, there's a TV down here, so we're gonna watch some uh, Shawshank Redemption until I got a good sweat rocking, and then we are gonna go upstairs and see where we're at. I'll probably try and stay on the elliptical until this movie is done so if you've seen this movie before you know I'm gonna be on here for a minute so let's get to it never mind I can't figure out that elliptical so we're gonna hop over here on the treadmill and we're just gonna kind of walk it out so all right back to it Switched over to the bike. Treadmill was really loud. And I'm trying to watch TV. So we switched over here. Uh, a little spit cup. Getting as much water out as I can. Uh, keep on the trucking. Ba -ba -da -ba -do. But yeah. I got my show on. I might try and do something with those dumbbells later, I don't know. We got some other equipment to choose from. I don't really know what would be the best thing to do for getting a sweat on and not 
really exerting myself, you know what I mean? But, I'm trying to figure out this bike thing, but yeah, uh, alright. I'm gonna keep trucking. I'm so ready for bed. Uh. Alright, we are on plan Q. Um, let me see if I can get the camera flipped around here. Yeah, so, plan Q. Not going very great, guys, but uh, this is what we're... I have the hair dryer pointed up my shirt. This was not the original idea. The original idea was to use the hair dryer in the bathroom to, like, make a makeshift sauna. I mean, this is really fucking wet wow. right now, but, like... Oh, man, this is not... <laughs> and then, like, point... So I've been, like, alternating it between, like, up my sweatshirt, down my sweatpants, down the back of my hood, down the front of it, up one sleeve, up the other sleeve, like a damn little twisted chicken. And, uh... It's not going very well. Now, yeah, this is... I gotta think of something. The exercise room was not... Like, it was so... It was freaking cold in there besides. And then, like... The machines were wonky. I could have stayed down and figured them out. But, like, we're... I need to get a sweat in there. That's what we're trying to do here. I'll, I'll think of something. Yeah, anyway. Haha. <laughs> The hair dryer started making a funny noise, so I stopped. I'm going to try and trap as much of the heat I got from that on me. I am laying in my bed underneath all the blankets. Oh, man, this is... This is dumb. This is... I have two pounds. Like, that's a good poop. <laughs> but I don't have anything to poop out right now. And, like, I peed once today right when i got to fargo and that was at like four o'clock so i'm out of stuff to pee i got no food in me to poop out i can't get a good sweat rolling i don't i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't because i don't want to just like go to bed two pounds over and then um not make weight tomorrow so like I'm on the Google machine trying to find, like, a place I can go and use a sauna at or something. Because, like, this is bananas. Because a sauna, 15 minutes, boom, done. Like, that's <sighs> so much dumbness. Anyway, I'm going to keep trying to figure stuff out here. So, yeah. Okay, guys. We are in last-ditch effort mode. It is... Quarter after 11, just got back, emergency trip from Walmart. Um, got some rubbing alcohol, some Epsom salt. We're on a bath. Gonna put this stuff in there. Uh, the the uh, makeshift saunas in here haven't been working. The exercise room downstairs was a joke. Um, for the last bit, I've just been in my bed laying kind of just bundled up under blankets trying to get a sweat on nothing's working I've been looking into this stuff and I guess this is supposed to work even better than a sauna um, I didn't really want to have to do this but um, that's where we're at so I'm gonna get this bath going and strip down I'm gonna sit in this for maybe a half hour so I don't know we'll see how long I can take it I am so out of it right now I don't know if it's the the weight cut that's been doing this or if it's just that it's 11 o'clock at night and I've been up for a while so we'll get this bath going and I'll let you guys know how it works so here's the reason why we're doing this last last ditch effort so to zoom in here if I stand right there, I'm at 225-ish. If I shift my feet upward just a little bit, like, the thing, like if I move around, like, this thing changes, like, like, there, boom, we're at, like, 221-ish, where I can't quite find it. There was a spot here before I went to Walmart where I was at 220, so... 
do this. I just dumped the entire containers in there. I don't think it's gonna give me a chemical burn. It shouldn't. It's rubbing alcohol and salt. It would just it's supposed to sap all the moisture out of me. But I, we're gonna sit in that for a while and see what happens. With, I, with that scale being wonky, now I want. Now the goal has changed from just 219 before going to bed to like 216, 215 ish. But we'll we'll see what a half hour in the bath does. But I won't film any of that because I'm going to be naked. So, um, so it's just sitting there. Timer goes off. Get out and dry off as fast as possible. And then weigh myself. And we'll see where we're at. But I'll keep you guys posted. Hey guys. So the, uh, the bath didn't do anything. I don't know if it's because I couldn't get the water hot enough. Or if I wasn't using enough salt. Or rubbing alcohol or whatever the case is. Um, so I tried another thing for the makeshift sauna idea. Um, what I did was I just, the hair dryer hang down, turned it on, uh, took my blanket and like laid it across the top of the sink here so it like hung down like a curtain with just like weight thingy do's holding it up there. And all that really did was get things warm enough to where my glasses were too hot to wear. So now I am making coffee with very little water, trying to see if I can't make myself poop. Um, yeah, it's, um, I've been sitting on, stepping on the scale and I'm right at 221. Or if I shimmy my feet around just right, I do hit 220. Um, I don't know. It, it'd be real easy if I could just pee, you know, flush this last pound out. But there's, there's nothing left to flush out. I think it's all either out of my system or my body's like, oh, hey, there's nothing coming in. We got to stop sending things out. And it's just kind of floating around in there, but... We'll, we'll get this coffee down here and we'll see what happens. I am so tired right now. It is currently 1.40 a.m. Weigh-ins are at 7. So I have 5 hours to get this last pound out of my system. I am so exhausted right now. I gotta make weight so I can eat food and take a nap. This would be so much easier if they had a working sauna here, but we know for next time. We're gonna plan. I've already got ideas if I ever have to do this again of what I would do differently. Uh, looks like my coffee is done. Um, got like that much water in there so it's like maybe half a cup of coffee. I'm gonna throw an ice cube or two in there just to cool it down a bit and we'll get that down and see if that doesn't get the plumbing and everything going again so I can shuffle this last bit out. But now we'll check you guys in. It'll probably be at the way in again because I I am so tired, I don't want to record anything else right now, and I'm bummed out, I'm mentally drained and exhausted. Um, this is nothing like what my practice water cut was, but then again, I had a sauna at that one. So, like, the whole sweat it out, make weight, that whole process took maybe a half hour. This has been just an ongoing what am I going to do now situation it's because the plan was get here check into my hotel go get supplies go to the barber shop and then come back here sweat it out and then go to bed that was the plan and that's
that's not what's happening here. This is this has gone sideways in so many ways. It's well, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get that coffee down, and I'll record some more for you guys later. So, see you at the way in. Hey guys, um. Heading the way ins right now, uh, just letting the car warm up a little bit. Uh, it's 7.30, I'm running a little late, but it's whatever. I just gotta be there and weigh in before 9. Um, I didn't weigh myself. Um, I did take, so I passed out at some point, I don't know what time. Um, when I woke up, I took... I had to go to the bathroom. Hopefully that put me down where I need to be. But we're going to get going here. We're going to find out. Um, yeah, let's do it. We made weight. So... Jason was the guy's, I think. Yeah, Jason was the guy's name. Um, awesome dude. Answered every dumb question that I had after weigh-ins. But, like, I walked in, and he's like, are you going to be close? And I was like, yeah, pro probably. And he's like, well, well, we'll check it out here, out in the gym. You know, just shorts, socks, T-shirt. And, and then I weighed in 221.5. Like, all right we're putting the scale in the bathroom and you're gonna do what you got to do and I weighed in was it two like I made like just barely made it I thought he said 220.5 but all I heard was you're good and that's all I needed to hear right now so now I'm drinking this conglomeration of pre-workout creatine and electrolytes I've got my snacks. I've got coconut water. I'm going to go home and eat. Let's go. We're back at the room. Um, I got to say, just on the drive back, I had my, my go juice, as I call my weird mixtures like that, my go juice, and half a bag of chips. I feel a million times better, like a completely different person. But we got a goodie bag. For this contest, moving some stuff around here, show you what I got. So, you got a shirt for the contest. I, looking pretty cool. That's the Winter Classic logo. They gave us a pamphlet because, you know, they just kind of assume people are coming from out of town for all the restaurants and stuff. We got a sticker. That's That's going on the DJ laptop. And then a athlete tag for my uh my bag with all my stuff in it so yeah that's that's what we got there made weight so now um i get to eat food and drink all the fluids that i want um but there is one more thing i should probably do before I eat a whole bunch of food. Alrighty. So. Checked out the pool. I've got some pizza coming. Um, Going to eat. Kind of just relax today. Going to try and meet up with some folks. I used to live in Fargo. So I'm going to see if there's any folks I can meet up with. Catch up with. But um, yeah. Just kind of taking it easy now today, getting food and fluids back in me. The pool felt amazing. I don't know if it was because, like, my body was just soaking up all the water. But, um, yeah, it's going to do it for this video. Um, I don't know how much footage I'm going to get of the actual contest. I'm going to have to con somebody and they're just recording me. But, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, and stay tuned for the rest of the 
winter classic trilogy, I guess. So check you guys later.